hitting each other, 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 hitting each other. If there's wrestling in heaven, it looks like this match. Uh, <laughs> so when I, here's where people thought asked about Titus' commentary. I was screaming too loud to hear him. So they finally started doing the big power moves, Celtic Cross and the power bomb and clover leaf and all this. And uh, there is a spot. Uh, Drew does, I think, the big giant flip dive, the Undertaker dive onto both guys. Anyway, but he he throws Sheamus back in, and he goes to that Claymore kick, and he's doing the, the countdown thing he does, and he runs the kick, but he runs into a bro kick for an earfall. That spot was lights out. Lights out. Just tremendous, tremendous stuff. And uh, eventually, it's the two of them in there. Gunther had disappeared for a while, but there's somebody tries something for a near fall. Gunther breaks it up. Gunther powerbombs Sheamus onto Drew, then powerbombs Drew and pins him to win. I will never forget this match. And uh, my star rating for this, let me see what I gave this. It was, it was the most stars I could fit in at the end of my tweet for their current uh, character limit. So here, copy, paste. And uh, that's one word. I gave it a lot of stars. I gave it a lot of stars. This was my favorite match of the weekend by miles and miles and miles. One of my favorite. Like, I can't say it was the best match I ever saw. It was 50 minutes of guys hitting each other to finish. I can't say it was better than MJF and Danielson, just to name one here. You know, but I don't. It yes. may be my favorite match ever. That's a different story. 166 stars. That's my official. Wow. Rating. How about that? You know, I, uh, I think people know this, but Drew and Sheamus, best friends. And they do the story on TV of being best friends that like to hit each other. And in real life, they're fucking best friends that like to hit each other. They love having matches together. They love beating the shit out of each other. And it was their dream to be able to do a match like this at WrestleMania. And they got to do the match, and they also got to do it with Gunther as well. And so it was like the meanest mean guy match you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. And when it was over, you know, they went to the video package or whatever you guys saw on, on TV. But in the building, I look up and they're fucking hugging. Like, oh, yeah. Like one of them gave birth and the others congratulate. I mean, they were so just so happy to have had this moment, got to do this with each other. It was like a dream they had had forever. And they finally got to do it. And when they got to do it, it was fucking awesome. And so. I got a picture of it. I think it's up on my Twitter. It was such an awesome moment. I was so happy for everybody in this match. They got to do. They got to do this. Yeah, man. Oh man. There's a picture on, on Twitter. It's the two of them. They have just collapsed backstage, and they're laying on the cement floor. I can't say they're smiling, but relief. They're relieved that it's they survived. It, they got through it. It's done. And they're like fist bumping, and the text for the picture just reads "pints" in all capital letters. <laughs> I love them. I didn't think about this until just now, but when Walter had that, Gunther had that one match against Ilya Dragunov, the the the, the one, the first one I think was the very very violent one. They did a video package with other WWE superstars watching it, and I'm remembering now that one of this one of the stars was the pair of Sheamus and Drew watching it together. I'm, I'm going to seek that and watch it again. It's just, I bet it's even more amazing in hindsight, as the two of them kind of get the idea of what they could do with this guy. Anyway, for God's sake, go watch this match. I was li- literally, honestly tempted. Knowing there was a lot of downtime in WrestleMania, I should just watch this match again and get caught up later. And it probably should happen, in fact. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock, who's there? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's not how not, not jokes work. <laughs> we Bailey? <laughs> What does that mean? She's small. It's we, we barely made it home. Oh, we barely made it. <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a doody, doodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get it. What? See, these, these, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.